I want to talk about plate rolls and camber today, specifically four roll machines. Most four roll machines have camber built into the top and lower rolls. The diameter of the rolls in the center is larger and it tapers smaller towards the ends. The reason for this is that the rolls deflect during the bending process. With the four roll machine, it's important to pinch the material evenly across the entire width of the part as the pinch pressure has an effect on the diameter of the part being rolled. Wherever the part is being pinched more, the diameter will generally be tighter than where it is being pinched less. How much the rolls deflect depends on where you are working within the capacity of the machine. The rolls are generally cambered for 50% of the capacity of the machine. When rolling a part at around 50% of the capacity, the camber on the rolls is deflected so that the part is pinched evenly across its entire width. In this condition, you will get a straight edge during the bending process. When working low in the machine's capacity, the force required to bend the plate is much lower, which does not deflect all of the camber out of the rolls, and it pinches tighter in the center and looser on the ends. And therefore, the center of the part rolls tight and the ends will roll loose. This is called a real defect. When working high in the capacity of the machine, the force required to bend the plate is much greater and the rolls are deflected past straight and you end up pinching tight on the ends and loose in the center. In this case, the ends will roll tight and the center rolls open, leaving you with a barrel defect. When you are looking to invest in a new machine, it's important to give detailed information about the jobs you plan to roll. The type of the material, width, thickness, diameter are all very important. Nobody wants to deal with shimming or other rolling tricks to get good results, but that's for another video.